Hello boys and girls, this is Aunt Miriam's Corner and our today's story is entitled The Man Who Walked Into Heaven. If you drew those lines I suggested, you will see that one line is much shorter than all the others. It is the line marking the life of Enoch. His father lived to be 962 years old and his son 969. But he lived only 365 years. Why was this? Did he get ill and die early? No, he didn't. In fact, he didn't die at all. That is the wonderful thing about Enoch. The Bible says God took him, which means God took him away without his having to die. That is something to think about. God does not treat everybody like this. Indeed, so far as we knew, only two people in all the history of the world, Enoch and Elijah, were taken like this without dying. Why did God take Enoch? There must have been a very good reason for making an exception in his case. There must have been something about this man that made God love him more than all the other people of his day. You may say, but did not God love Adam? his masterpiece of creation, very, very dearly? He did, but God let Adam die, just as he said he would, after he had lived 930 years. How about Seth? Wasn't he specially beloved too? He was, but God let him die also, after he had lived 912 years, and so with all the others. God loved them but he let them die. With Enoch, however, it was different. God loved him so much he couldn't let him die. So he took him away to live with him forever. Why? The Bible doesn't tell us very much about it, but just enough so we may understand. It says, And Enoch lived sixty and five years and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300 years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. There is the secret. He walked with God. That is what God wanted Adam to do from the very beginning. There wasn't anything God wouldn't have done for Adam had he walked with him as Enoch did. Instead of forgetting him and wandering away, certainly he never would have died. And so with Seth, Enos, Canaan, and all the rest, God wanted them all to walk with him, but none of them quite came up to his expectations. Only Enoch. He was different from the others. He loved God with all his heart. He had one purpose, to serve God and do his will. He thought about God all day long, striving in every word and deed to please him. Never was there any selfishness, greediness, jealousy, or anger in his heart, for he believed that such wicked thoughts were unworthy of a child of God. No wonder God was drawn to this dear man. Indeed, I can almost hear God saying, Here is a man after my own heart. He is just what I hoped all the sons of Adam would be like. Dear Enoch, what a noble, godly soul! And Enoch walked with God 300 years. That was a long time, but God was testing him, watching him every day, every moment. And the more God watched him, the more he loved him, day by day, week by week month by month, century by century, Enoch walked with God until at last, instead of dying, he just kept on walking right into heaven. What was it made Enoch want to live such a life as this? It may have been the result of a talk he had with Adam, for Adam, remember, was still alive in Enoch's day. Perhaps as he learned more of the love of God, in making the world and man, he made up his mind to love God sincerely 
in return. And yet, it might have happened because of something else. The Bible says that Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah. That is, after his little boy was born. Having a little boy means a lot to most daddies. And it could well be that as Enoch looked lovingly upon that precious baby of his and thought of the wonderful goodness of God in giving him a child like himself, that he gave his heart to God as never before and promised to love and serve him all his life. Be that as it may, from that moment Enoch walked with God which means they kept in step and as they walked together they must have talked to each other secrets too things god could not reveal to anybody else that is when enoch learned so much of god's plan for the future and why he was able to write that great prophecy behold the lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints even though he was only the seventh from adam God helped him to see clear down the ages to that wondrous day when Jesus shall come in his glory. And so, after 300 years of walking with God like this, God took him. In the New Testament, we read that Enoch was translated that he should not see death. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Isn't that a beautiful record for a man to leave behind him? He pleased God. Could that be said of you? Do you try to please him every day? Always? It's a wonderful thing to walk with God, seeking to please him in every thought and word and deed. And if we do, who knows, perhaps someday, like Enoch, we too shall go walking right on into heaven.